ಮಾತರ ಸಂತು ಪಿತರ ಸಂತು ಗೋ ವೃಷಾಹ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಮುಷ್ಟಿ ಮಯಾದತ್ತ ಪ್ರತಿಗೃಹಂತು ಮಾತರ ಪ್ರತಿಗೃಹಂತು ಮಾತರ ಪ್ರತಿಗೃಹಂತು ಮಾತರ ಕಾವೋ ರಕ್ಷಂತಿ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ಕಾವ್ ಸೇವ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸೇವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಲೋಗನ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಘವೇಶ್ವರ ಭಾರತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಔ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಪುರ ಮಠ ಹೊಸನಗರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಡಿಸಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಕಾವ್ ಬ್ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇವನ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಮೇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ is almost impossible hence the efforts have started to increase the cow population but now it is not so easy due to drastic changes in the socio economic conditions of rural india even then many social organizations mathas and few government institutes started working in this direction we discuss the reasons for the situation specialities of indian cow breeds etc in detail finally we introduce and explain all available cow breeds of india in this documentary film domestication of cow has started with human civilization itself animal husbandry and agriculture depend on each other this combination is the nature of rural life in india keeping cattle is necessary for milk dung and urine biogas and also for plowing and transportation knowing all these our ancestors worshiped the cow conserved it and developed cattle based farming system but in recent decades increase in the number of slaughter houses chemical and mechanized farming commercial dairying and more importantly drastic change in rural lifestyle led to the depletion of cow population now many of the cow breeds are on the verge of extinction one or two cross breed cows occupy the place of 10 20 indigenous cows now we find indian breeds mostly in tribal areas green and white revolutions were initiated to overcome the food shortage of the country in the 60s chemical fertilizers have replaced cow dung manure tractors and tillers were introduced for plowing and transportation this has reduced the dependence on animals exotic cross breed cows have become popular for high milk yield knowingly or unknowingly indian cows with less milk reached the doors of slaughter houses 10 20 indigenous cows were replaced by one or two hf or jersey cows big traditional cow shed reduced to a single room animal husbandry is a difficult and time consuming job for a divided small farm family many of them are ready to sell off the cows if ready milk is available in the vicinity as a result many farm families buy milk from nearby dairy or from other farmers now the chemical farming has polluted the soil water air and even our food farming is not a profitable job due to ever rising cost of production hence a major portion of our farmers is reverting back to organic farming again Animal husbandry is compulsory for organic farming. But increasing the cattle population is not that easy now. There is no space left for grazing. We do not have workers to care for these animals. There is an acute shortage of farm laborers and fodder. As a result, Indian agriculture has become a bundle of confusion. However, for the continuation of farming, 
Increasing cattle population is inevitable. Commercial dairying is a popular enterprise now. Most of the farmers believe that HF and Jersey crossbreed cows are the only options for high milk yield. They feel Indian cows are inferior. In fact, we have world popular milk breeds like Sindhi, Gir, Sahiwal, Rati, Gangatiri, etc. Indigenous cows eat less and produce better quality milk. But due to extensive cross breeding, it is very difficult to find pure Indian breeds now. Farmers are facing a lot of difficulties in the health and general maintenance of exotic cross breed cows. Again, our dairy farmers are also in confusion. The other benefits like cow dung, urine, plowing, transportation, etc., have equal importance as that of milk products when animal husbandry is a part of agriculture. Hence, indigenous breeds suit better for this multi purpose. Cost of maintenance is also less. Let us study exotic and indigenous cow breeds from scientific and analytical angle now. Even though there are many exotic cattle breeds in India, HF and Jersey are very common. Taxonomically, they belong to Bos Taurus group. They are docile in nature and trouble for feeding or milking is very less. These breeds have developed in cold temperate conditions. Sweat glands are small and less in number. Hence, it cannot tolerate high temperature of our tropical climate. Due to its big body and mild nature, it soils the body with dung and urine if the flooring is not good. Hoof is soft and the gap between the hooves is wide. It results in slow walking and hoof diseases. It cannot wander safely in hilly tracks and cannot run on rocky surface. These animals are best suited for stall feeding only. Mastitis and hoof decay are common if the floor of the shed is not hygienic. The Y chromosome in this boss torus is damaged during the process of evolution. This is the reason for decrease in milk yield potential and increased infertility with further generations of crossbreeding. More quantity of balanced concentrated feed is necessary for the body maintenance itself. There is less chance of total recovery if it suffers once bodily. It may lead to infertility. Teat and pores are big and hence milking is easy. But this is the reason for more chances of mastitis. Entry to the uterus inside the body remains open always, increasing the chance of infection. The milk has more amount of bad cholesterol. Vitamin A is less. Since this is A1 type of milk, it is said to be harmful in the long run for human health. Ayurvedic experts opine that the urine from crossbreed cows does not have medicinal value. The dung from stall-fed crossbreed cows has more count of pathogens than beneficial microorganisms. Crossbreed bulls are lazy in nature and are not suitable for hard work. They are almost useless. But we Indians cannot imagine sending them to slaughterhouses. Let us study the specialities of Indian cow breeds now. Taxonomically, they belong to Bos Indicus group. Majority of the breeds produce very less milk. Most of them are specially developed for hard work on the farm from centuries. Hardly 4-5 breeds produce good amount of milk. If we blame other drought breeds for less milk, it is our fault. In the olden days, milk was not a saleable product. It was not needed also. Each farmer used to have 10-20 animals. Even very less milk from 5-6 cows of the herd was sufficient for his family consumption. 
The amazing diversity of Indian cattle breed attracted other parts of the world from centuries. 98% of cattle population in Brazil is derived from Indian breeds like Ongol and Gir. They developed a best breed called Brahman by crossbreeding them with Jibu breed. Britain had used the genes of Indian breed Hallikar to develop resistance against foot and mouth disease. Indian breeds are very active. The disease resistance and adjustability is excellent due to their nativity. Total surface area of the skin is more due to a high hum, hanging dewed up and loose skin. Sweat glands are bigger in size and more in number. All these enable them to sweat more in hot conditions and balance the body temperature. Sticky secretion from the skin, smooth skin and short hair avoid insect pests. Oily secretion from the skin in some breeds protects them from heavy rains. Producing localized vibration on the skin is possible to avoid insect bite due to special skin musculatures. It has a long tail and a special bone arrangement at the first tail bone. It supports total lifting of the tail which reaches to the entire body. Small and closely situated hard hooves is good for plowing. Hoof decay is less and it can run on hard rocky surface. The bullocks can drag the cart even without putting hoof metal. Indian breeds are clever enough to sit on clean surfaces to maintain body cleanliness. Teat and pores remain tightly closed, avoiding the chance of mastitis. Uterus opening inside the body remains closed, which minimizes infection. Overall health problems are less, reducing the usage of costly chemical medicines. Even the local herbal medicines are effective. This brings down the cost of management and maintains the purity of milk. In Indian breeds, basic metabolic rate of the cells is low. Hence, less and low quality food is sufficient for the maintenance of the body. Dry and wet grasses, tree herbage etc. are the common food for them. Even if it suffers from food shortage once, it will recover very fast totally and can conceive after getting sufficient fodder. High hump, hanging dewlap, invisible solar plexus are the specialities of Indian cow braids. It is said that all these give special medicinal value for milk, curd, ghee and urine. Bad cholesterol content of the milk is less. This milk is very nearer to human milk in composition. Hence, it is easily digestible. Vitamin A and iodine content is more. This being A2 type milk, it is good for human consumption. It is said that Panchagavya prepared out of milk, urine, dung, ghee and curd can clean our body system. According to Ayurvedic experts, it can control a few types of cancers, diabetes, ulcers, kidney disease, etc. Panchakavya is becoming popular in agriculture as a nutrient and for controlling pests and diseases. Organic farming experts say that the dung from these grazing animals contains high count of nitrogen fixing bacteria and other beneficial microorganisms. Pathogens are very less. Cost of maintenance of indigenous breed is less. Bulls work very hard. Mortality of calves is less. Male calf is an asset. Bullocks are more useful for plowing and transportation due to their high hump, strong legs, fast walking and hard working nature. It can work for a long time without food and water. Now a good pair of Harlikar, Kilar, or Amrit Mahal breed cost 2 to 3 lakh rupees. Even the small breeds like Jawari 
or mallard gidda costs up to 1 lakh rupees. Thus, rearing male calves can bring a good income for farmers. Number of calving is more compared to exotic breeds. Indian breeds of any region can adjust to the climatic condition of any other region. All these indicate that keeping indigenous breeds is the best option for a farming system. Biogas production from dung and urine is common now. Biogas slurry is better in available nutrients compared to the original dung. Vermicompost production and sale can bring an additional profit for farmers. Sri Ramachandra Puramata Karnataka, under its Kamaduga project, has established many gaushalas in many places. It is for the conservation and development of Indian cow breeds. Here, many cow based medicinal and other products are being produced. Distilled extract of cow urine, bath scrubber, tooth powder, dupa for cleaning air, eye drop, face cream powder, etc., a few among them. The brand name is Gau Ganga. There are few products for pest and disease control in agriculture. Indigenous cows will get more prominence if these products succeed commercially. Let us understand some scientific facts about Indian cow breeds now. Milk is grouped as A1 and A2. Most of the cows belonging to exotic Bos Taurus group and their crossbreeds produce A1 milk due to their damaged DNA. It has a chemical substance called beta casomorphin 7 or BCM7 which separates out during digestion of this milk. This leads to autism and diabetes 1 in children. In adults, BCM7 is associated with Alzheimer, cancer, diabetes, heart trouble, etc. These are the findings of researchers in New Zealand. Indian and African cows belonging to Bos Indicus group produce A2 milk. This milk without BCM7 is safe for human consumption. Ghee from indigenous cows has healthy cholesterol. Ayurvedic medicines for heart diseases are invariably made from cow ghee. This ghee helps for brain development, improving memory and IQ. In another research, Indian cow urine has increased the count of macrophages in the blood to the extent of 104%. In comparison, Jersey urine affected for 8 to 12%, buffalo urine for 20 to 28% and goat urine 40% increase. This indicates that Indian cow urine is helpful to develop disease resistance. Indian cow urine is a bioenhancer which decreases the dosage of other drugs. It controls the aging process. Cow urine purifies our body system and removes obstacles. It controls and destroys free radical cells, repairs damaged DNA, strengthens lymphocytes which helps to fight cancer. Cow urine has antibiotic properties also. These are all the results of researchers on Indian cow breeds in various institutes across India. Hence cow products are widely used in Indian systems of medicine. The story will be incomplete if we do not discuss the problem part of Indian cow breeds. The efficient milk breeds like Gir, Sindhi, Sahiwal, Rati etc. are at the verge of extinction. Most of the other breeds produce very less milk. This is the main reason for their unpopularity. One or two liters of milk per day will not work out for any farmer now. Dairying is providing livelihood for millions of farm families in India. We cannot neglect this fact. Most of the dairy farmers 
have gone for HF and Jersey cows due to unavailability of good milking cows of Indian breed. Rati Breed Research Station has developed Rati cows with 14 to 16 liters of milk per day. We find Gir, Sindhi and Sahiwal cows with more than 15 liters of milk per day here and there. If these Indian breeds with high milk yield are made available, our farmers will definitely accept them for dairying. Many of the Indian breeds have aggressive nature. Threatening the man, fighting each other, etc. are very common. Normally, the cow will not let the milk down if the calf is not fed on the udder. Milking is difficult if the calf dies. Tying one leg is a common practice to escape kicking while milking. Indian breeds expect more freedom. They are not happy with stall feeding. Grazing them is a problem now due to shortage of grazing land and people to look after them. Few breeds have the habit of jumping the fence. See, this cow is tied with a wooden piece to check its speed of running and jumping the fence. However, the wood will not harm the animal in any way. The sharp horns of these animals are the threat for us always. All these characteristics might have developed for their defense while grazing in the forest. Probably, there is no solution for these genetically developed habits. These are the main reasons for unpopularity of Indian cow braids. Let us study Indian cow breeds now in detail. It is said that there were more than 100 breeds earlier, but now the registry at Indian National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources has 37 described breeds. We find many more breeds across the country, but they fail to get registered due to non-availability of pure breed animals and lot of variation in their characteristics. Now we will study 27 registered and 3 unregistered breeds. We do not have the video of the remaining 10 registered breeds with us. We will see the popular milk breeds first. This is Gir, one of India's ancient breeds. Gir forest region of Saurashtra of Gujarat is its origin place. This is in second place in milk yield after Sahiwal. It gives 12 to 15 liters of milk per day. Excellent disease resistance, cleverness, responding well to the affection shown by its owner, etc. are its specialities. Broad convex forehead, red or speckled red color, long pendulous ears, etc are its identifying characteristics. Gir gives 6 to 10 calves in 12 to 15 years of its lifespan. Gir bulls are hard workers. This is a world popular breed 
exported on a large scale. A major portion of cattle population in Brazil is derived from gir breed. This is Sindhi or Red Sindhi. It originates from Sindh region of Pakistan. It dominates that region even today. Sindhi is a world popular breed spread over 33 countries including Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Australia and America etc. It adjusts to most of the climatic conditions and yields 12 to 15 liters of milk per day. Disease resistance and heat tolerance is excellent. It resembles Sahiwal in many of its characteristics. Sindhi is seen mostly in red color and reddish brown sometimes. Popular world breeds like Swiss Brown, Danish Red, Australian Sindhi etc. are its cross breeds. But here in India, Sindhi cows are limited mostly to Gaushalas. This is Sahiwal breed. Sahiwal district of Pakistan is its home tract. This ranks first in milk yield among Indian cow breeds with 15 to 20 liters per day. It entered Punjab and Uttaranchal states before spreading to other parts of the country. Sahiwal can withstand extreme temperature due to its special skin. Secretion from the skin repels the insect pests. Red-brown skin may have white spots. Disease resistance is good. It gives 10 to 12 calves in its lifespan. Sahiwal is seen on large scale in countries like New Guinea, Australia and Kenya etc. Australian crossbreed version of Sindhi like Australian Jibu and Australian Sahiwal are the world popular breeds now. We find Sahiwal cows in Punjab, but pure breed is very rare. This is Rati breed. West Rajasthan is its home tract. It has very attractive skin of brown and white or black and white color mixture. There are again two types like Rat and Rati. Rat gives more milk and Rati works hard. This breed has developed by the mixture of Sahiwal, Sindhi and Tharparkar. Milk yield is 6 to 8 liters a day. We find Rati cows with 15 to 16 liters of milk in Rati breed development station at Bikaner of Rajasthan. Rati bulls work continuously for 10 hours even in hot climate. It can walk in deserts comfortably with sizable luggage. This is Ganga Thiri animal. Banks of Ganga River in Bihar and Uttar Pradesh are its home tract. More specifically, Varanasi of Allahabad district is its original place. Ganga Thiri has developed from Haryana breed. Normal milk yield is 6 to 8 liters per day. However, we find cows with 10 to 15 liters a day here and there. Gangathiri breed is on the verge of extinction. It is being conserved at Gaushala in Varanasi. This has not appeared in National Registry yet. Now, we will go through dual breeds. This is Tar Parker. Desert region of Rajasthan and Tarparkar of Sindhi region are its home tracks. This has developed from Kankraj, Sindhi and Nagori breeds. Tarparkar is a sensitive animal and expects affection from its owner. Disease resistance is good. The bulls work very hard. Cow gives 10 liters of milk per day. This is Kankraj breed. Kutch of Gujarat and Jodhpur region of Rajasthan are its home tracks. This is considered to be one of the most ancient breeds of India. 
The cows in the sculptures of Stone Age are believed to be of Kankrej cow. Attractive stout long horns give a typical shape to this breed. Kankrej cows can give 8 to 10 liters of milk per day. The bulls are the hard workers. This is Devani breed, Bidar district of Karnataka and Maratha Wada region of Maharashtra are its home tracks. Devani is developed from Gir and Dangi breeds around 500 years ago. Depending on the skin color, it is again grouped as Shavara, Balinkya and Vanara types. These are very sensitive cows. Milk yield is 8 to 10 liters per day. Devni is used for cross-breeding with HF on a large scale. Hence, it is difficult to find a pure breed now. These Devni cows could get the sense of earthquake well in advance in 1993 in Latu region of Maharashtra. This has brought a lot of publicity for this breed later. This attractive bull is Ongol. It belongs to Ongol district of Andhra Pradesh. This is also called as Nellore breed in some parts of the state. Ongol animals are exported on a large scale to American countries. Basically, it is a milk breed. But later, it was trained for work on the farm. Hence, it is a dual breed now. Strong muscular body and high hump are its specialities. Ongol cows give a good amount of milk. This is Lal Kandari or Red Kandari. Nanded district of Maharashtra state is its home track. It is named after a king of 4th century, Kandar, who developed and popularized this breed. This medium-sized animal is seen in dark brown or red color. Broad forehead, black ring around the eyes, high hump in bulls, etc. are its characteristics. Red Kandari breed was about to disappear. It is being conserved and popularized now. This breed is in good number in North Karnataka also. This is Gaudau breed. Varda district of Maharashtra and southern part of Madhya Pradesh are the home tracks. Looking to its speedy work, Maratha kings in 18th century have developed this breed. It was used to transport weapons to war field. Gaudau cows produce 5 to 6 liters of milk. This is being used more as a draught breed. Bulls have muscular body and work very hard. This is Haryana or Haryani breed. Rothak, Gurgaon and Hisar district of Haryana state are its home tracks. It is a dual purpose breed with medium to big body. Haryana breed has spread to many countries of the world due to its hardworking nature and adjustability to various climatic conditions. Attractive high hump gives a special look to the bull. It can work continuously on rocky field under hot sun. It can draw one ton of luggage at a speed of 25 kilometers per hour, even at 42 degrees centigrade temperature. Haryana cows are docile in nature and produce 5 to 6 liters of milk per day. This breed is very popular in Pakistan. We shall study drought breeds now. The first one is Malnad Gidda. It originates from Uttar Kannada, Dakshina Kannada, and Shiva Mogga districts of Karnataka. This is very small in size. Disease resistance is excellent. Malnad Gidda eats very less but works very hard as a drought breed. Milk is rich in nutrients. It is seen in red, brown, black, white and copper colors or mixture of these. It is second in population size after Halikar breed in Karnataka. These tiny animals 
graze on the hilly tracks and forests for the whole day. It is said that the milk, urine and dung of Malnad Gidda have highest medicinal value in Indian system of medicine. The products from Kapila or copper-colored Malnad Gidda cow is preferred in Ayurvedic preparations. Small stout body and short legs enable them to jump fence or wall of 6 feet. This breed expects more freedom and is famous for theft grazing. Milk yield is just 1 to 2 liters per day. Now, this Malad Gidda is being developed for more milk. This is Kasargod breed. Kasargod district of Kerala is its home tract. This is seen in black, brown, ash, white and copper colors. This is purely a drought breed. Eats very less food. Disease resistance is excellent. Products of copper colored Kasar goat cow are preferred in Ayurvedic medicines. Bull works hard on the farm. Milk yield is less, but it is rich in minerals. The population of this breed is coming down very fast. This breed is not yet included in the National Animal Breed Registry. This is Vechur breed. Vaikam village of Kotayam district of Kerala is its original place. This is again a drought breed disease resistance and adjustability to various climatic conditions is excellent. Needs very less food. Secretion from the skin keeps the insects away. Kerala Agricultural University has conserved this Vechur breed. Now, there are hardly 100 pure breed animals. It is seen in light red, black, white and ash colors. Milk yield is less but it is preferred for traditional medicines of Kerala. This is Krishna or Krishna Valley. Banks of Krishna River in Maharashtra and Karnataka is its home tract. This drought breed is developed from Gir, Ongol, Kankrej and Halikar breeds. Krishna cows produce 4 to 5 liters of milk per day. Sweat glands are very dense on the skin. Hence, it can work continuously under hot sun. Krishna bullocks can draw two tons of luggage. Hoof structure matches to hard rocky land. Krishna is also a breed exported on a large scale to Brazil and other American countries. But in India, population of this breed is decreasing very fast. This is Halikar breed. This drought breed originates from southern Karnataka region. It has the capacity to work without rest for the whole day. Halikar stands first in Karnataka in population. South Karnataka alone has around 16 lakh animals. Many breeds of South India have originated from this breed. Male calf is given entire milk produced by its mother. However, the milk yield is just 1 to 2 liters. India Post has brought out a special stamp of this Halikar breed, which affirms its importance. This is another popular drought breed, Kilar. It originates from Sholapur of Maharashtra and Bijapur region of Karnataka. Professional breeders from Satpur region of Maharashtra, rare male calves of Kilar on large scale. Kilar bulls are priced lakhs of rupees in the cattle market of Maharashtra and North Karnataka. This being a very hard worker earns the investment for its owner. Keeping Kilar pair is a prestige issue for the farmers of this region. Karnataka government has opened a breed conservation center at Bankapur for Kilar breed. This is Amrit Mahal breed. 
This famous drought parade originates from Hassan, Chitmanglo and Chitradurga districts of Karnataka. Mysore rulers have developed this between 1572 and 1636 and named it as Benne Chawadi. Later on, Tipu Sultan renamed it as Amrit Mahal. These bulls with energetic body were used to transport weapons in war fields. The records say that the bulls were not afraid of gunshot sound. Amrit Mahal bulls participated in the first and second world wars. This breed is very popular for hard work and obedience to its owner. Male calf is fed with entire milk produced. Demarcated grazing lands are seen at many places for these animals. Mysore Diban Mr Purnaya took this breed to Tamil Nadu. This is Dangi breed. Nasik and Ahmednagar regions of Maharashtra are its home tracks. This is purely a drought breed. Oily secretion imparts a shiny look to the skin and protects the animal from heavy rain. Royal look, white hanging dewlap, high hump etc are its specialities. Dangi bulls can work continuously even in hilly terrain. This attractive animal belongs to Burgur breed. Burgur hills of Erode districts of Tamil Nadu is its home track. This is purely a drought breed. The bull has ferocious nature. One needs to have a lot of patience to train this for work. But it works very hard in hilly tracks. Speed of walking and luggage carrying capacity is excellent. This Burgur breed is very near to Nimari breed in its characteristics. A community called Lingai rear Burgur animals in a special method from centuries and use it on the farm. This animal with solid body belongs to Kangayan breed. Erode, Dindigal and Coimbatore districts of Tamil Nadu are its home tracks. This is purely a drought breed. Even then, good Kangayan cows produce 4 to 5 liters of milk a day. These muscular bulls can draw maximum luggage. Hence they are used for transport of sugarcane. This is Amblacheri breed. It originates from Amblacheri village of Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu. This drought breed had developed from Kangayam breed. The bullock pack can draw 2 and 1/2 tons of luggage. It can work continuously for 7 hours under the hot sun. This endangered breed is being conserved by a NGO of the locality. This is Malwi breed. Malwa region of central India is its home track. Apart from Madhya Pradesh, it is seen in Jalwar regions of Rajasthan also. This medium-sized strong breed is purely for drought purposes. It walks very fast. Hence, it is used for bullock carts and also for plowing in black soils. Few Malwi cows produce good amount of milk. This is Kenkata breed. Banks of Kane River is its home track. Now it is seen in Lalitpur, Hamirpur, and Banda districts of Uttar Pradesh and Tikamgarh districts of Madhya Pradesh. This resembles Malwi breed. It is a pure drought breed. It can work continuously even with less food. Kenkata breed is disappearing very fast. Haryana and tharparkar animals are becoming popular in these areas resulting in unpopularity of kenkata breed this is nagori breed this drought breed originates from rajasthan 
shape of the body and the hump is very typical. Nagori cows are docile in nature, but the bulls are slightly rough. It is best suited for hot climate of the deserts. Due to its speedy work, it is widely used for carts with iron wheels. These animals belong to Nimari breed. Nimari region of Narmada River Valley of Madhya Pradesh is its home tract. This drought breed originates from Gir and Kilar breeds. Muscular and hard-working Nimari bulls are slightly rough in nature. Because of its utility, Nimari is popular in Maharashtra and many more states of India. These are Jawari breed animals. It originates from North Karnataka. Although it is a drought breed, cows produce 3 to 4 liters of milk. These docile animals have good disease resistance. It is seen in black, red and ash colors or mixture of these colors. This is the favorite breed of small farmers. Jawari animals are seen in large numbers in North Karnataka. But due to a lot of variations in characteristics, it is not yet listed as a breed in the National Breed Registry. This is Ponwar breed. Pilibith district of Uttar Pradesh is its home tract. It has developed from local white animals and Morang breed of adjacent Nepal. Ponwar breed is popular for its disease resistance, cleverness and naughty behavior. Basically, it is a drought breed. Cows yield half to two liters of milk a day. Ponwar animals mature late. A tribal community called Taram is keeping this breed from centuries. This is Keri Gar breed. Keri region of Lakimpur district of Uttar Pradesh is its home tract. This is seen in hilly regions of Indo-Tibet border. Tribal people like this breed due to its hard working capacity with less food. A pair of Keri Gar can draw one and a half tons of luggage for 40 to 50 kilometers. Hence, it is used for transportation in the hilly tracks. Kirikar bulls start working by fourth year of age itself. Cows produce three to four liters of milk. Tell us now, is not India rich in cow breeds? Till now, we have studied 30 cow breeds of India. There are 10 more registered breeds, namely Bachaur, Mewati, Punganur, Siri, Motu, Gumusari, Binjarpuri, Karyar, Pulikulam, and Kosali breeds in India. But we do not have their video right now. Sorry. Whatever may be the positive and negative aspects, Indian cow breeds are the interest of animal breeders and farmers of the whole world. We need to conserve this gift of nature of vast animal genetic resource. Commercial milk production led to the depletion of Indian cow breeds. Added to that, the confusions of the governments over ban on cow slaughtering is leading to the disappearance of even existing small population. A single deadly disease can destroy the commercial milk industry, keeping one or two exotic cow breeds. Maintaining multiple breeds can prevent such a disaster. Many organizations and religious matas are putting efforts for the conservation of Indian cow breeds. Sri Ramachandrapura Mata, Hosnagra of Karnataka, is leading this movement. It has a project called Kamaduga which runs scientific, systematic, and extensive programs in this direction. Its intentions are conservation, 
research and conducting awareness programs across India on Indian cow breeds. Let us support their genuine efforts in all possible ways. Let us conserve these valuable Indian cows for our future generations. Namaskar. Dharani Mandala Madhya Dholage Mere Yutiha Karnata Desha Dhol Iruva Kalinga Nimba Gullana Pariya Nanintu Pelvenu Gange Bare Gauri Bare Tunga Bhadre Taye Bare Gange Bare Gauri Bare Tunga Bhadre Taye Bare Punya Koti Nino Barendu Punya Koti Nino Barendu Prema Dali Gulla Karedano Prema Dali Gulla Karedano